The Sheep Bend. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. And the reason that I'm sort of chuckling a little bit is because today we're going to do the Sheep Bend, but I didn't know how many sh different variations of the Sheep Bend there were. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a few variations that I have found out. Now the Sheep Bend itself is also known as the Beckett Bend, the Weaver's Knot or the Weaver's Hitch. And the whole idea of the sheep bend is that a smaller rope, being my yellow rope, is used to join itself to a larger rope. So in other words, it's a great little way of joining two different size ropes together. The one issue I would say with this particular knot is that because of its simplicity, it can possibly come undone fairly easily once the actual load is taken off it. But here we have, okay, here we go. Here we have the standard sheet bend that we all know. We then go and we have a double sheet bend. So as you can see there, it's doubled. We then have a slipped sheet bend. And then finally, the last little bend here is the one-way sheet bend. Okay, and so what I'm going to do, so if you, if you enjoy these videos, well, what I suggest is, if you enjoy these videos, please continue to watch. But there will be other sheep bends possibly later on that I haven't shown in this particular set here. In fact, I know there's one that is of interest, which I will show at the end of this video. So please do watch this through to see the final sheep bend at the end of the video, which is a little bit different to these ones here, but it still is a sheep bend in itself. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to untie all of these and then one at a time we will go through the different sheep bends that we've got. So anyway, as I say in the, all my videos, let's get knotting and I'll see you on the other side. So see you in a second. Right, so here we are. Here's the two ropes that I want to join together. And as you can see, the red one is a little bit larger than the yellow one. Okay, so the whole idea of this particular um, bend is to join two ropes together, and this is how we do the first wet. The first method being just the sheet bend itself. So the first thing I do is we always get the larger cord and put a bite into the larger cord. Once we've put a bite into the larger cord, I then take my smaller cord and pass it through the center, like so, so pass it through the center and it doesn't matter which way you go, you basically take your work, your working end there, wrap it around like so. And then once you've wrapped it around like so, the next thing we do is take that working end and tuck it underneath the yellow one there like so. So just pull that through like so and you can see now it's crossing over there. And as we pull that up tight, pull it up nice and tight and you can see now that as I pull on that, we have now got ourselves a very secure knot. Once it, whilst there is strain on this, it is very secure. But if it's allowed to sort of move about and jiggle about, as you can see, it can come undone. So providing you keep the strain on this, it is a nice, good, little secure knot. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is, I'm going to do the slipped version. In this world, this in today, we all love to do things quickly. So if, say for example, it's fairly easy to undo this knot anyway, but if you want a quick way of tying the sheet bend and doing it un and undoing it quickly, what we do is we form a, a bite in our larger cord like so. We then take the smaller cord, pass it through the middle, like so, so pass it through the middle, and this time we want to take a little bit more through, like so, and then once we've taken that through, we then bring it round underneath our work, so you can see it's coming up through here, round underneath at this point here, and the next thing I do is I form a bite there, like so, and then I pass that bite underneath my standing end, like so, and then I can pull it all up tight, and you can see here now, what I've done is, I have got a slipped version of my sheet bend. And so when I pull this up really, really tight, 
It's still, once, once we finish working with it, it's very easy to undo because all I do, <coughs> excuse me, is just pull on this cord here and you can see now here, it quickly and easily comes undone. Okay, so this time we're gonna do the double sheet bend and it's just a little bit more secure than the single version or the slip version that you saw previously. So here we have the working end of my larger rope and here is the working end of my thinner rope. Now the first thing we're gonna do is get hold of the larger rope, being the red one, and we're just gonna form a bite in the end of our rope like so. The next thing is I'm gonna take the working end of my yellow cordage, pass it up through the bite of my red one, and we want to get a little bit more through than normal, and so we now have it in that particular formation. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the yellow one and pass it around the back of my red um, rope here, and then bring it underneath the working end of the yellow one like so. So just pass it through, so it goes underneath the yellow one there. So as you can see, it's now crossing underneath like that. I then get hold of the working end of my yellow one again, bring it round the back of my red rope, and then pass it underneath itself again, through there like so. So it's going round the red one twice, and then what I'm gonna do is just pull up tightly on that, and you can see now here that where I've brought it up to the end of the line, We've got a nice, tight knot starting to form there or bend. And then as I pull up on that, that is even more secure now than the single, um, I forgot the name of the knot now, the single sheet bend. Okay, so this is the double sheet bend. And so now, there we go. We've got a double sheet bend here on that one now. Okay. So let me get on and untie this, and then I'll get back and I'll show you the next one. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got my standard sheet bend here, slightly exaggerated here with that tail there. But the whole idea of the next um, sheet bend that we're going to do, which is the one-way sheet bend, is that if you are actually hauling your rope over objects, etc., then this isn't going to be obstructed by this cord sticking out here. So it just makes it a little bit neater and tidier when you're actually hauling your um, rope over edges or obstacles. So anyway, let's get on and show you how to tie that. So here we go again. I have got my larger rope and in my larger rope, I form a bite like so. The next thing I do is just like we do in all our other sheep bends is I bring up my working end of my yellow cordage up through the sheet bend itself, take a little bit more through than you use for a single sheet bend, and then bring it around underneath and then pass it underneath the yellow one, like so. Now that we've passed it underneath the yellow one, the next thing that we do is we then take it around, so it goes over the top, following this one here, following the red one that's underneath it, and then pass it down underneath the yellow one there. So you can see here now, we've gone under that yellow one, gone round, underneath the yellow one again there, and then that can then lock it all in place, and we now have an inline or a one-way sheet bend, so that when we pull up on this, and we can tuck that up, into the middle of the cordage there. And so therefore you can see there is nothing sticking out on the actual bend itself to cause an obstruction. So that is the sheet bend one way. Okay, I'm gonna undo this and I'll show you another way or another uh, variant of the sheet bend. Okay, so another variation of the sheet bend is maybe we want to attach two lines to a larger line and so the it's very, very simple. Exactly the same method as before on the first sheet bend is form a bite in the larger rope like so. The next thing that we do is we take hold of the working ends of both our cords this time, both our smaller cords, and pass them through the bite like so. So pass them through, take a little bit through like so, and then once again, bring it around the back. 
So take it around the back like so, keep them level and then once again bring both those working ends underneath those two cords that we've just passed through, tuck it in like so and then once again pull up tight on that and you can see now we've got two lines attached to one line to form a sheet bend. Okay, so there we go, a little bonus one for you. I would love to know, if, if, you've, if you've managed to endure this video up to this point, please tell me if ever you've used two lines going into one line like so, and where you used it and how you used it, etc. Would really love to hear about that in the comments below. So anyway, that brings me to the conclusion of today's little exercise, which was all the different variations of the sheep bend, the weaver's bend, the Beckett bend. And so once again, thanks for watching. If you liked it, if you hated it, please give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. But most importantly, do contact me in the comments below and let's have a chat about things. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.